I enter the app, then I tap on the button right there and you'll see the process starting. Now, once it starts, it will connect to my database and then it will try to download the actual deleted content. The permanently deleted content will be recovered right now. As you can see, it is starting to recover the the actual photos hey there so guys in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how you can recover your photos from the recently deleted folder from your own on your ios devices you'll be able to recover permanently deleted photos that you have previously deleted on your iOS device. And I'm so excited to be showing you this today, guys, because this has been super helpful for me. I have been successful in, recover in recovering permanently deleted photos. So I wanted to share how I actually got this app and how you can get it on your phone. So without further ado, let's start with the whole tutorial. Okay guys, let's go ahead and let's start by preparing our phones. So what we want to do to prepare our phones is go to our settings app. Once we are in our settings app, what we need to do is go to general, background app refresh, and then switch it on for both Wi-Fi and cellular data. Make sure you have your settings like this for now, guys, until the rest of the process is actually done. Also, keep in mind that you might be disabled on this page right here, and there is a reason for that. Now, guys, if we go back to our battery settings and we read the description below the battery settings, it says low power mod temporarily reduces background activity. So look at what will happen if I switch it on like this. If I go back to general, then I go back to background app refresh, it gets disabled on this page right here. The reason for that is, is that we have our low power mod, it even says it here. When in low power mod, background app refresh is disabled. So make sure you go back to your battery settings, check off that low power mod button. And what you want to do is go back to the background app refresh option and check if it's on for Wi-Fi and cellular data. For me, it is because I previously set it like that. Now, guys, let's go ahead and head over to our next step, which includes opening our browsers. And you can use any browser that you usually like using. I'm going to be using my Safari one that's right here. Once I get to the Safari browser, you'll be able to see the website that we need to visit. So type in this address into your web browser and you can look through the apps there are tons of different apps away available on this website. So what I want to do next is actually search through the search bar because there are tons of apps and I don't want to get tired from searching through the actual actually manually. So I found it. You can see the file size. You can see how many times it has been downloaded. And once you tap on it, you'll be able to see the rating and the reviews on the website as well. Also, guys, the install button is there. So what you need to do is tap on it and the downloading process will begin, which is a pretty quick and easy process and it won't take a lot of your time. You just need to wait for it to finish until the end. And guys, once it's done, you'll be good to go. They might ask you though to complete some type of process for them. And if they ask you, make sure you follow each and every instruction that they give you to get to the actual photos plus plus app that is it for today guys thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you in my next video cheers